Hello, hello, Vermintide community. I felt like making a video to share a pretty shitty build reviews today. And basically, it's using Battle Wizard Sienna with a torch. It is an interesting one because the torch is limited to like what, like fucking a half a handful of maps. And it is a very fun build, and she is a stagger beast. Let's get into it. So jumping into Sienna's build as Battle Wizard, um, it's all about staggering. So you do need Confound. Um, secondary, Famished Flames. Don't worry about this, you're not using your staff. Um, Lingering, kind of up to use. Um, but I just go Spider because the first hit counts as staggered. Um, for the fourth point, you actually, yeah, like I said before, you're not using a staff. So, this tree is kind of, you don't need a point in it, don't worry about putting a point into it. Um, and then for your fifth one, um, reduced damage is, is good. Attack speed is good as well, it's all decent, but cooldown, burning enemies, torch, stagger, you gotta get your ult as quick as possible and just keep spamming it. Um, I did try having reduced cooldown on the ult, but... It was like at 23 seconds, and it does go down pretty quick. But, uh, no, kaboom, no, it, it's burnout, trust me. You need the second dash. It's at 33 seconds, I think, something like that, you're it. And with fires from Ash, you can get it back, like, within 10 seconds. Um, pretty much, it's up to use what weapons you want to do for this. Um... Because you are using a torch one, but if you don't get a map with the torch, just run something with high stagger and, you know, fire. Good. I go natural bond because, see, the thing is, if you drink a health potion or use a med kit or use a strength potion, anything like that, you drop the torch. So basically, what, what this allows you to do is regen health so you don't have to drink potions at all, right? And so, like two hits and... Yeah. My trinket, I go cooldown and stamina recovery. Cooldown, because you need to get your ult out there as fast as possible and start cooking up them rats. Um, for the second property, I just go stamina recovery. Always handy. Um, and just additional info. You can basically, if your mate wants to play the Sigma or your bot, just chuck on more stagger power for it. Really handy. Um, and you're probably wondering, why don't you do Unchained for it? Well, I looked around a tree. She does have staggering enemies, right? You can go whatever in that, you know, tier 1, tier 3, always the same. Pushing enemies ignite them, which is good. Um, the heavy attacks with the torch aren't that great. It's all about sweeping with the light attacks, like, as, as much as possible. So, when it comes to, like, killing bosses with the torch, it's, it's really horrific. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, just... Try and use your ultimate. Pretend like you're doing something for your team. Like, that that will take care of it. You, But you just sit on the sideline and, like, look like you're doing something. It, it always works. No one calls me out for it. So, when it comes to clutching when everyone's dead, um, it does really well because you get high temp health. Um, you're staggering them. They're dying by the torch fire. You're just consistently shooting off your ultimate, flying around like Sonic. Um, it's not that great, but it's fun. I'd recommend like running the build, um, but don't don't do it a lot because I've, your allies won't be happy with you if you're constantly like running around with a torch. They weren't too happy when I was doing it, getting the footage, but. Well, give the build a go, it's pretty fun. Got the torch carried right! and they think. Dude, what? The torch! It's, it's too good. 